prayer friends. Today I am going to Kasai Kina for class and then I'm going to the Japanese embassy to pick up my passport because I'm going to Japan this weekend and then I'm going to go and train. So I'm going to take you guys with me today. I don't know if you guys can see this but today I attempted a double braid, double bun. the base of Kasatkin and it's basically like a warehouse that they built out and it's super Soviet but it's comfortable. I just finished my lesson at Kasatkin and it was really good. I saw Vladimir who he was like in charge of the competition. He's asking me like what am I doing there and he's saying like you know people are saying crap about you at the Kremlin and I'm like I don't care. Oh look we can learn a Russian word. It says da, which in Russian means yes. <laughs> it's a gorgeous mural right in front of the Japanese embassy. It's so cold outside. It is freezing. It is gray, raining. Typical classic Moscow in the end of October. And I'm just gonna have a little rant, rant about modern day interpersonal relationships. Why do we think that it? We have to play games with each other and I, I just, it's so refreshing to find people who, you know, like you want to be in communication and you just send a message and that's it and that's all there is to it. It just like, I like recently I've just made friends with somebody who, you know, sends me a message whenever that person like thinks about me or whatever and it's just so refreshing because so much we're like, oh, I don't know if I should respond, like, how should I do this? How should I do that? Like, I have no qualms. If you send me a message and uh, I'm available online, I'm gonna send you one right back. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why <laughs> I'm like suddenly preaching about this, but I think that life would be a lot simpler if we played less games with each other and we're more sincere and more honest with ourselves with what we want out of relationships with each other. Today's video is themed with like of me preaching at you guys. I am so sorry, but I just met with a wonderful girl who works in Kasatkina, um, the company here that I've been taking class with, and she is half American. She's incredible, and she's I, she's so brave to be doing what she's doing. It's so hard to come here, um, especially being like raised in the U.S. and then move here and be ethnically Russian, but be, you know, American with your values. Um, and this advice that I gave to her is the advice that I'd like to give to you guys, and it's advice that was given to me. Um, don't change yourself to fit surroundings. Be boldly you and be brave and don't be afraid to, uh, to be confident in the things that you want for yourself because you're worthy and don't let anybody else make you feel like you're not worthy and not uh, um, able because you are until proven otherwise if you take the steps to make the things that you need happen and this is some advice that I got some from a really good Turkish friend um, move only forward Make sure that you always feel free and be brave. And those are the things I want to leave you guys with today. And to Katya and Katya's family, I wish you all the best. And I hope that you will take what you want and make sure that you are improving for yourself and not for anyone else. All right, guys, I love you so much. Make sure you guys check out mentally.com. Check out the supplements. Who is calling me? I've never heard that sound before. Maybe somebody left their phone at my house. Okay, see you guys tomorrow. Love you, bye.